Hi, I'm Sarah. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make something that's really easy using a few things you have on hand to make some really cute little baskets that you can use for holidays, for weddings, um, party favors, picnics, any little thing, or for fall, they're perfect for Halloween treats. So first you're going to need a um, paper plate, a ruler, regular scissors, any type would work, pinking shears or any type of crafting scissors, um, ones that are zigzag or scalloped work great, a pencil, few paper clips, four is perfect, some washi tape. I'm a huge fan of washi tape. You've seen me blog about all different uses for it, but I love it in this um, particular craft because it adds um, a lot of color um, and a little make festive touch. Um, you can add, in this case, orange and black to make it a Halloween look. So you'll start with the first pa one paper plate and flip it over so the top side is face down. And then you're gonna use your pinking shears or scallop scissors and just cut about half an inch all the way around the plate. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna kinda of try and have the same width removed all the way around the plate. And then when you're done, you can just throw that away. You'll have a um, kind of scalloped paper plate. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You'll put it face down on the uh, table, and then this is where the ruler and the pencil come into play. You're gonna make, divide this into nine sections with the middle being a big square or rectangle. The first box that I made was more square shape, but you can also make it more rectangular to fit your needs. But you can just kind of eye it. You don't have to measure it. You can measure this into um, nine perfect squares, but I would just eye it. So I'll start out by using this inside edge to measure the plate and just kind of eye it and make one line there. And then I'm going to flip it over and make a um, parallel line about the same distance from the um, depressed edge on the plate on the other side here. And then all I have to do to make this into nine sections is just put two perpendicular parallel lines on the other side. I'm trying to make these sections right in here about the same on both sides. The inside square is going to be the bottom part of your basket. So once you have nine sections, then you're going to take your regular non-scallop scissors and cut every other line right to where it's been um, intersected between the little squares right there. And you'll do this four times using the uh, pencil line as a guideline. Once you've done that, you should have every other one with a little slit that's cut. That's going to help us create the shape of the basket. Now, all that's left to do is actually fold it into shape. So you're going to use the square in the middle as the guideline and bring that up. You'll want the pencil lines on the inside of the basket so they won't be seen once it's filled. You'll just make a crease there and then on the other side of the square and do all four sides. And then, after you've done that, now you're going to crease the other sides. Then when you're all done, this is where the paper clips come into play. They help you hold it all together before you wrap it with tape. I'm going to just bring two sides together and then hold it with a paper clip. The paper clips are just there temporarily before we wrap it up. And then you just kind of keep the smaller edge on the inside and then we're just gonna bring it together. So then once I have the general shape, then I'm gonna pick my tape. I'm gonna pick this yellow, just solid washi tape. It's really easy to tear. You don't really need scissors with this part. You can just start by wrapping the box wherever you like. And the washi tape is great because it's removable and repositionable. And you can just wrap it around the box. As you need to, you can go ahead and remove the paper clips because the tape's gonna actually hold the box together. 
And when then you're all done, you can just tear it and then overlap the edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can just lift it back up so the edges meet. And then you remove the paper clips. And when you're all done, you'll notice that you don't, there's no need to actually tape the edges on the inside because once you fill it with um, all sorts of little goodies or um, food, it's ready to go. And that's how you make the simple paper plate baskets. For more tutorials, um, design inspiration, color palettes, and crafts like this, go to sarahhearts.com. Thanks!